First things first, you gotta find a really cool little coffee shop. That's kind of a, a necessity for a cool neighborhood. So I'm gonna spill a lot of coffee right now. Um, drinking a little drip coffee. This is a cool little coffee shop kind of in the Strawberry Hill, KCK area. Um, so we gotta get started with some coffee. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna kind of go through the neighborhoods. I'm gonna kind of show you the uh, different style of homes you can expect. Kind of touch on a little bit of history and um, just really kind of see what, you know, you can kind of get a good idea of what you can get for your money uh, for a home here in the uh, KCK Strawberry Hill area. First things first, like I said, I gotta get my coffee. Step one, don't spill the coffee on myself before we get into this vlog today, all right? Um, but yeah, I'm in Strawberry Hill today. It's a really awesome neighborhood. But before we get into the video, I need you to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. That way, anytime I'm dropping knowledge bombs about living, eating, sleeping, and having fun in Kansas City, and even in Kansas City, Kansas, you're gonna get notified, all right? And also, I love making these videos. I love vlogging around Kansas City. But more importantly, I love helping people move to Kansas City. I'm a licensed realtor in Missouri and Kansas. And if you have any inf if you have any questions at all, my phone number and email is below. You can call, text, email me anytime, dear night. I got your back when it comes to moving to Kansas City. Today I'm in one of the Kansas City's coolest little towns on the Kansas side, Strawberry Hill. I'm gonna kind of show you the shops, the houses, the neighborhood, and why this is one of the nicest little niche towns in Kansas City. Uh, it used to be up and coming, but honestly, now this thing's on the map, and you're going to find out why after this. neighborhood it's not an actual city but it's a neighborhood inside of Kansas City Kansas uh, it's kind of located right on the Missouri and Kansas border just on the Kansas side right next to downtown Kansas City uh, West Bottoms and kind of that whole area okay so uh, but before we get into like the types of houses the cost uh, what and if you want to really decide if you want to live in Strawberry Hill or if you can or if it seems of interest to you I'd like to get a little background first. I like to kind of get into a little history I'm a history buff and I love talking about that. So uh, Strawberry Hill was actually kind of founded by uh, European immigrants so it kind of like reminds me of like Yellowstone where they had uh, those European immigrants kind of coming through and settling well it's very similar to that so uh, it's kind of started in the, a lot of Croatian descent um, here in Strawberry Hill so people came on steamboats down the Missouri River they settled along the river and just like in Yellowstone how they went through hardships and a lot of them were killed off well that fortunately that's kind of what happened uh, with a lot of the people that migrated here and kind of formed Strawberry Hill but basically you know they they settled along the river and then um, you know they, they were workers they were European workers and they came here for work because uh, there was a livestock exchange right in the West Bottoms right there by the river and they came here for all that and then what happened was there was a huge flood wiped out a lot of them and then they moved up on the hill where there was a straw a bunch of wild strawberries and that kind of hints is strawberry hill and how it kind of got its name and so they migrated up on the hill and then the spanish flu hit and then the spanish flu hit wiped out a ton of people and it left a bunch of children to be orphans and so then they built this huge church and if you look at the strawberry hill pictures on the hill you'll see this monumental church well that was an orphanage for them and over time you know it's really been amazing you know i think because of a lot of hardships this community has faced it's really kind of brought the people closer together and you still see a lot of that original um just character and a lot of the history of strawberry hill and that's kind of why i wanted to touch on the history before we get into the houses because it's good to have that context as we kind of get into these homes and this area and really what strawberry hill is all about all right so here we go we're going to go through the uh, houses i'm going to show you what they look like we're going to talk about them uh, kind of some of the price points i'm going to kind of show you some of the amenities and really just what this um, area has to offer for you if you're thinking about moving to kansas city so one of the cool things about Strawberry Hill is 
We've got downtown Kansas City kind of right there, as you can see uh, in the background. So like I said, uh, this neighborhood used to be down this hill right by the river. And then the flood happened, they moved up the hill. And so you get this awesome view of the city. And if you're in certain parts of Strawberry Hill, which I think is awesome. Uh, what's really unique about Strawberry Hill too is that, you know, a lot of these houses are gonna be around that, you know, 150 to $200,000 range, which is unheard of uh, closer to downtown Kansas City. Now, granted, they are, you know, a lot of them need some help. A lot of them need a little uh, tender love and care. And uh, they're smaller, they're really close together and really tight. But, you know, if you're looking to just kind of get into a really cool community and be really close to downtown, uh, this is like the spot, you know, and maybe the, if your budget's around that range, uh, this is probably like, I would say the best spot in that price range close to downtown would be right here in Strawberry Hill. Um, and again, it's very highly competitive in the market still, um, and especially in this little neighborhood, because like I said, because you get the price point, uh, the amenities and things they have to offer. I mean, I, I say amenities, but it's not like swimming pools and country clubs. It's like, you know, little cool dive bars and uh, an awesome little barbecue place and a, and a cool little hip coffee shop. It's more like the, the hipster type of, um, of uh, fun you're looking for. I mean, it's really cool, but that's kind of what you're looking at in this town. Uh, that's kind of what you'll see when we look at these houses. Some of these houses though have been um, modern and, and fixed up and renovated. And those are probably gonna be closer to that 350, you know, three to $400,000 range, kind of depending on the square footage of the house. But a lot of these houses, you know, still need love. And um, a lot of them are still are getting fixed up and, and being used. And a lot of investors are coming in this area as well. So definitely want to put it on your map when you're thinking about, um, you know, coming to Kansas City and checking out some places. This is definitely a place you want to check out. So what's really cool about this little area, uh, these, there's just the, like I said, just the history of the neighborhood. You can kind of see, I'll show you here, but you know, they've got even the original brick cobblestone you see a lot kind of underneath the road um because i so this road right now is currently getting worked on and i wanted to kind of walk down it because you can kind of see under the street kind of the original brick and cobblestone that you know people used to use way back in the day so it's kind of cool um but um you know that's what that's what that's what you get when you're looking if you're looking for character if you're looking for diversity if you're looking for character uh, if you're looking for just like quaint and um not cookie cutter suburban life but you want more of that urban life this is a really cool spot to get to and to be a part of and maybe you can't afford you know the five six seven eight hundred thousand dollar houses or condos in downtown or even south uh, around the plaza but you know maybe your price range is in that 150 to three hundred thousand dollar range well right now as this video is being shot, that's kind of how we're looking at and what we can kind of get you into if you're looking in this KCK uh, Strawberry Hill neighborhood. And that's kind of what I love about it is that, again, you can get close to the city. You can get these really cool little um, homes with a lot of character. You get this awesome community of people and all the awesome character and history and you're right close to downtown, all for a very affordable price. And you can't really beat that anywhere else in Kansas City, which I think is pretty sweet. But um, yeah, so I'm just kind of, like I said, I wanted to walk down these roads, kind of give you an idea of what to expect, what you can see, what you're gonna get. If you decide to move to Kansas City and you're looking at this price range, you're looking at um, this area and, if these certain things are important to you, then this is definitely a spot for you. So it's also cool because like I said, there's a lot of community and even there's even like fun little bars to go to um, and little dive places, which I think is really neat uh, when a city has kind of like fun little dive bars and um, places to go to where it's kind of like the Cheers movie. <laughs> Everybody knows your name. Um, I think that's what's cool about this area is you kind of get that uh, small, tight little community and you can feel a part of something. I think that's something that's um, a lot of my relocating buyers want. They want to move to a new city. It's, it's scary moving to a new city and relocating, but they want to be able to move somewhere and feel like they can be a part of something and feel 
um, feel like they belong. And I think that's really something that you're going to pleasantly be surprised with, really no matter where you're at in Kansas City, but especially in these tight little neighborhoods where people are super friendly and um, there's just like this rich, rich community and rich history of um, the people in the community. And I think that's what's cool about Strawberry Hill. Um, and like I said, it's a hot spot too, where, you know, like kind of, you can see as I'm walking by here, uh, this gray house, they really kind of gave it an up, a facelift and you'll kind of see that as well. But again, you're going to see a lot of people that have been here forever too. And you know, they're not really going to be doing a lot of those updates, you know. Every uh, cool neighborhood has to have a cool barbecue spot. It's getting close to lunchtime. I hope you enjoyed the little tour I did today. Um, like I said, um, it's a really cool little spot, close to downtown, affordable, um, and just a really uh, tight community. And that's what I love about Strawberry Hill. But again, um, you gotta, well, you gotta check out bar uh, Slaps Barbecue if you're coming down to Kansas City. Just in general, it's one of the best places to eat barbecue in the whole city and um, just happens to be right here in Strawberry Hill, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go there for lunch, uh, grab a bite to eat, and uh, wrap up this vlog. Again, like, subscribe, hit that bell. That way, anytime I'm dropping knowledge bombs, you're gonna get notified. Anytime I'm doing these vlogs, pulling up the map, really just telling you anything about Kansas City, you're gonna get known about, you're gonna get notified about it. And also, my number and email's below. Call, text, email me anytime. I got your back when it comes to moving to Kansas City. We'll catch you next time.